Hi, this is Pat Johnson, your sociology instructor. In this mini lecture, we're going to talk about theoretical approaches to studying society and the terms microsociology and macrosociology. So, what's a theoretical approach? Well, sociologists use the term theoretical approaches to, to describe basic images of society that guide their thinking and their research. In other words, they have an idea or roadmap for connecting sociological facts. Not all sociologists focus on the same thing. Not all socio sociologists look at the same level of social interaction when they study society. Some sociologists focus on one thing more and others focus on that less. So when we talk about theoretical approaches, we talk about different ways of doing sociology. The term microsociology means that when we study human behavior, we look at face-to-face -face interactions. So a microscope is something that zooms in on the smallness of something. We use a microscope to study something that's really tiny. So when a sociologist uses microsociology, he or she is going to look at real small interactions, like two people or a small group of people. And they're look, going to look at the individuals versus the whole society. When sociologists use macrosociology, they're looking at the wide scale, the large scale picture. So they could study large scale groups, they could study organizations, they could study a whole social system. When we look at society as a whole and don't concentrate on the individuals in that society, we're using a macro sociology approach. So in this course, we're going to use the three theoretical approaches, symbolic interactionism, functionalism, which is also known as structural functionalism, and conflict theories. There are others, but we're going to focus primarily on these three theoretical approaches. Now, which is microsociology and which is macrosociology? Well, symbolic interactionism is a micro, micro level approach, while functionalism and conflict theory look at the big picture, their macro level approaches. So as we go through these, remember, we can look at the big picture in our macro sociological approaches, or we can look at small interactions of individuals. And in that sense, we'd be using micro sociology.